Hello everyone! Some of you guys have requested tutorial on how to make a cute and simple character but with more details and explanation, so that's what we're going to do today. In this first part we're going to see how to make the head and face and in the second and third part we will see how to make body, clothes and accessories. So enough talking, I'm starting by adding a cube and I'm going to add a subdivision modifier of 2 and applying it. So once I have applied the subdivision modifier, I'm going into the sculpting tab and I'm pressing D to have the crop tool. And I'm going to just grab the edges of my shape. Don't forget to turn on the X mirror on the top right corner so all of the changing you are doing on one side is applying to the other one so yeah i'm just shaping the way i want it by just grabbing the edge i make the front of the face a little bit more flat and the back a little bit more round and of course i want quite big cheeks so i'm grabbing my shape uh, in the area of the cheek to make them look more round and more chubby. Then I'm adding a subdivision modifier just to make it look more smooth. Next things we add are the ears, so it's kind of the same process than the head, meaning we are adding cube, adding a first subdivision uh, modifier of two, and a mirror modifier, because of course we want two ears. I apply the subdivision modifier and with the grabbing tool in the sculpting tab we're going to like kind of press inside the ear if that makes sense just to make it look a little bit more like an ear but keeping the chunky look and i added also another subdivision modifier just uh, the same as the head just to make it look a little bit more smoother moving on to the eyes for this look i find it easier to start off with the plane I'm adding three loops here by using Ctrl R and by scrolling up with my mouse wheel this will increase the amount of the loops and I will choose three and I'm also adding another loop uh, right in the middle and now I'm just moving and tweaking all of the points until it looks the way I want Now I'm adding a solidify modifier and a mirror modifier. I'm putting the solidify modifier on top of the other. Be careful because the order of your modifier is uh, really important. Then for the lashes, I use a single vert. I'm extruding my point by pressing E and dragging the point where I want them to go. And I'm adding a skin and subdivision modifier. Then I'm selecting all of my point and I press Ctrl A to size everything down. Then when I'm still in the edit tab, I'm selecting my point, like all of my point, then I press Shift D to duplicate my mesh and I'm adding a mirror modifier. Now we can add the nose and it's pretty simple, we just add a cube and add a subdivision modifier. Thank you. 
Then for the mouth, I also use a single root and same as for the lashes, we add skin and subdivision modifier. Then I realized I wasn't that happy with the shape of my head, so I reshaped it just a little bit, still in the sculpting tab. Then I'm adding another cube, and with a subdivision modifier, I make it look like brows. And now we can do the hair. There is a ton of different ways to do hair. You can have realistic hair using hair particles, but you can also use curve to have kind of a cartoon, but still detail hair. I'm gonna try to keep it as simple as possible for this tutorial. So not using hair particle and not using curves. So I'm starting with bangs. I'm doing first the global shape. So I'm adding my cube, I extrude it. Then I'm adding a subdivision modifier so I kind of see how everything will look. And what I like to do to save me some time is to add a loop in the middle and delete half of my shape. Then I can add a mirror modifier. It's really easier and it will save you lots of time if you don't already do this. And always I'm tricking the point and moving them to follow the shape of the head. Now we can do the rest of the hair, so I'm adding another cube, I add a loop cut in the middle so I can delete half of it and add a mirror modifier and now I can start to extrude. I press 7 to have a view from the top, I rotate all of my selected point and then I'm extruding it along the shape of my head. Now I'm selecting the top face and I will extrude them upward and sizing it down so it will follow the shape of the head. And the last piece I have extruded, I'm putting them in the middle. And since I have checked the clipping in the mirror tab, my points are kind of going to be attached together. If you have a weird shape like me, it's maybe because we have face inside. So by deleting this one, we should have a cleaner look. And do not forget to always put the mirror modifier on top of the subdivision one, so you don't have a weird look at the end. And now we can move our points to create the shape of the hair. From the side of the hair, I'm simply selecting faces 
I'm extruding them to the side. I'm also adding a loop to add more definition and I'm doing the exact same thing for the second one. So I'm setting a quick camera just to see the color I will add and how they will look. For the look of the eyes, I'm selecting my whole mesh and I'm going to unwrapping it. Then I go into the texture paint tab and in the right corner adding a new texture slot. And onto the left tab, I will add the texture I have just created. This way I can now start to paint things I want directly on my shape. For this to be easier in the UV editing, I'm just retaining it. Don't forget to save the texture, otherwise the changes won't apply. For the other eyes, all you have to do is create a new material for the right eye and now you can simply go into the UV editing tab and flipping the eyes. And now we are going to use the same method for the face. In edit mode, I choose a vertex in the center of my head and mark it as seam. And then I select my whole head and I am wrapping it. I create a new texture slot using the color of the skin that we chose earlier. And now I can add blush on the cheek. So this is the final result of how you can make a cute character face. In the second part and third part we will see how to make body, clothes and accessories to add more personality to our character. Thanks for following this tutorial. If you have any question or any suggestion, feel free to ask me in the comment section. And of course, if you recreate this tutorial, I would love to see the results.